Uh huh. Mavathan's loud music is super weird. The one thing that this game shows, imagine Mavathan's image just like this. Now I'm in the game, and this sad. Uh, yeah, that would be amazing, even though without music, to be honest, Bobby. If Evan just was like this game, just speak to Centurion Corral. Silence. So great. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the Galaxy? <laughs> what? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. <laughs> Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. Here goes Plan B. You don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now follow Who the mine. fuck is she? Not to go, prisoners. Wow! Hello! Good. I'm just like... You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Everyone just do what they say. Thank you, Drex. Thank you for your help. The captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol... It is definitely on unhealthy skin, skin color. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners Who is again. he? What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier like Breaker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Yeah. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Boy, what? I know the captain. He was also As floating was dead saying, in there. Now he's the alive. Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she just, say just to be no, super clear on the mom? Thing. I guess that's Nikki. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, I guess this is also Peter. <laughs> Oops, I only fucked this up. Hubbala. Man. That was bad, huh? <laughs> Didn't know you guys are doctors of alien races. <laughs> when death counter? <clears throat> He's on quick time events. I was like, my hand. I was on this. Dream bag in this moment to put on the webcam again. There you go, I can totally do quick time events. That red light was confusing me. There's no excuses either. There's totally no excuse, okay? Did you wanna turn on the light? I did. 
I don't turn this yeah, big light yeah, anymore yeah. on. I think so. Let me just see if I can... Hold on! Push on! That's my... That's boots! Did that go, was it? Nikki? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. See? Uh, this is a weird... And now Nikki has a crush on Quill. Thanks. Yeah, Mom wouldn't be impressed if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right? Come on, we need to get out of here. There's a glass door around the corner. We'll be safe there. She yeah. is really eager. Help me with this. We are back, and I can't work. Okay. So how should I help you? Would it help if I said please? Yes. Can you can you say please, please, please say please, girl? Come on. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. Go, go. Okay. We need to keep moving. Even she can this run way. faster yeah, than I can. Than I run. Just stay close. There was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Ah, but because Just she's give me a sec. She's the daughter. You no, know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on, you clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. Alright? <laughs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. You don't sure say. There isn't a way through here. I'm in charge. Here. Whoa! <laughs> Are you really sure you, you don't okay? want to untie me? Yeah, I'm fine. That would be you. Oh, dandy. Okay. Wait, where did she drop this off? way? Oh, okay. Shouldn't we be going up, back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Don't we establish your special What does actually happen? Like, work. is this this monster we got out with the go, with the cleaning bots? Parasite, which is obviously no cleaning bots. Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine. Totally, I like how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay, I can do this. I mean, I saved her, and I definitely saw like this monster. There. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Got Got it. She did something. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself. Yeah. Pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. Nova I have some good nice. news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So, what's the good news? They're not dead. Oh. One of them actually seems really active. That's probably rocket. Yep. That's cells make him jumpy. Can I go into water? Is it a good idea to go into water when oh there's like Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure for Taking the, a shower, you know, obviously. Fire. Come on. There was loot, okay? I here. wanted to scavenge some loot. The pipes must have burst. Oh, what is back here? Nothing. Okay, cool. Unfortunate. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now are you gonna help? Easy does it. Oh, 
That looks absolute safe. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. That's a red button. Enough people know. around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. Yeah. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? Yeah. You literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ever had. <laughs> cool. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? Ooh. Wait, what is this outfit? Ooh. Ooh, Nova Lauren. It's actually some I don't know why, but it's super sexy. <laughs> Men in armor and suits, I guess. <laughs> Jeez, this okay, that's just, this looks like this looks a little bit lame. Also like with the helmet it looks like kinda I don't know. I don't wanna say it gives me Nazi wipes, but it gives me Nazi wipes. And also this this is just like hmm. But this <sighs> That's exactly what I'm doing. Hi, Toby. Yeah, I this kid is one. absolutely annoying. She's doing great, okay? She's like, she's... She's just a pain in the end. Is end. that robot wearing makeup? What? Huh? Oh, yeah. That's just, it's... I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogram most of them. See, she's just this typical lonely no, I mean, it's cool. tech girl that builds cool. faces on. on these it's robots right. and programs them because she's lonely, which is actually really sad. Just is always the sad story. Like the kid of the captain or whatever luck, is always the kid that has no friends. Recently, after that whole, you know, parasite thing. You're messing with me, right? Thought it didn't matter. Since you know the captain. She's space creator. Right. No. Yeah, sure I don't think she's space creator. Not at all. What is it back here? Just give me one second. I'm gonna loot this corner because I see the here okay. is loot. Wow. <laughs> just blatantly I love how they, they just like fought all this through like okay this character no lease and she will be sassy totally about it. So but cool. out of respect for your authority, I'm gonna you know, ignore it and follow your lead. Regulation First thing I heard coming in the stream is Nazi. Yeah, sorry, but there was like a costume really that kind of memorized, me don't you? Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. Oh, you wanna join no, my ship? I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Ready? Oh, he ended up to be in a Chitauri prison. Okay, you think this would get easier? I don't think it gets easier How do within you know my 10 mom? minutes. Exactly. Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is a real spitfire. More like real controller and bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. Nikki? <laughs> Nikki? I don't know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Aww, we're bonding with her. I think Nikki will, like, help us to escape this shit. I'm still in charge here, you know? Yes, yes. Of course you are. But I'm still picking up the loot, no matter what you do. I don't care, Nikki. What What are you, by the way? This way. Quick reminder that only one of us. Get back here, pirate! Wow, wow, okay. Hey. What? Could have sworn I heard Corel there for a second. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Yeah, but Clearly. he's like like a little tiny another one buddy. of your bots. Yeah, what? my name's Jocasta. She keeps an eye out for stuff. Invaders, trespassers, prisoners who keep wandering off. But there was loot again. Are you kidding me? No. There's loot. I hope she I hope one day she understands if there is loot, the player will probably head off. I don't know why I could right, interact right, with this danger thing. Nothing happened there. It was in. a little bit weird. Hello. Oh, because this is dangerous this is zone. Oh, is it like her, like her, like her little hideout? Super interested. 
I you guess it's Hokkaido. Really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh wow! It is Hokkaido. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? Yeah. Definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. Oh, and they put this bot here in between. Oh, that's why Take she's like, oh, I didn't saw like if the bot was running behind me. Oh, I didn't watch that. Okay, girl, I love your hideout, but I, I, I will pick up these components. So I, yeah, live with that. That's so adorable. Seriously. Also, like with all these lights, so sweet. So, so sweet. Okay, what? Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. <laughs> which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. I'm sure she won, Miss Emmy. I think so, too. Yeah, let's just see it from the girl. Yeah. I also like this, this character on the right side here. I... It kind of looks a little bit like Peter. She's like a really talented hey, drawing, huh? This is Mercury, right? Uh huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. I mean. Why not? Is this Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Sure. Morbid, I can't draw like good. this yet, but sure. That's really impressive. Also, I like how, I just like the uh, way this is drawn with the colors and everything. It's really cool. Oh, backpack. Oh, what is this? What do we have here? Universal translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. That would be cool. Is there anything we can do with it? Guess not. Oh, it's just like oh, because I found something. Um, you found the broken transmitter translation device. Groot might have something interesting to say about it back to the Milano, and I'm so sure I won't understand a single shit he will tell me. Also, this looks super cool. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Yeah. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. Yeah. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. I mean, Rocket is a really sweet character if you get to know him, I guess. But in the beginning, of course, he's like a real prick. So, <laughs> I get where the first judgment is. Okay, what do Your we hand? got there? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Okay, cool. Um, I'm bored now, so... Oh, I can I can squeeze hey, in here. Secret stuff. <gasps> Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom comes. Damn it! I wanted to see you yeah, sneak I've in seen there. Yeah, I've your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. Yeah, Peter is still a kid actually, even though so he's like an adult, and she's I'm like coming from, right? a kid. Like if you do end up talking to my mom. The subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey. You may have heard uh -huh, of the gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Hmm. Sure, <sighs> Almost girl. at the elevator. We're home free. Yeah, oh. and then I'm allowed to probably like kill a big yeah. monster. Got it. <laughs> oh, oh, they're the cool suits. Hot. <laughs> the woman won a squid Thank though. You. I'm fine. Mom, seriously, a okay, barely a scratch. What in Hollis' name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad, running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. 
Like it's my fault some guy's ship blew up? Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that she has a really maybe straight we've all nose. made some mistakes. But mom! The fire is out and the hangar secure. <laughs> yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. <laughs> it's like... Both are the kids that gets like the bad speech from mom. You overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Wow! Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain she really hates me, huh? <laughs> Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom. <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Oops. Activate. I was so not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors. There was that I'm going the kids. Glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. It seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying? I'm not signing up with Corel. Twelve. Oh wow, I thought she was at least sixteen. Peter. What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level six access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. I still have feelings for you. <laughs> Excuse me? Not like feelings, feelings. <laughs> emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. There's a lot of feelings to bubble up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry with Cora. Maybe there will be love story. Oh, fuck, I haven't thought about that. I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, lockdown. Lockdown, disengage. So, works every time, yeah. Now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But mom! I can make Isn't it like 30, 30 cycles. Years? What are rotations <sighs> ticking in cycles? What is this weird time measurement they have? Does anyone know it? I think it's still it's a pain that the stream mode on is up on the top. And who is this guy? It was his church. Building shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Do the math. No way. 
One second for all on all the to ask. No way, that's not his daughter, is she? Twelve year old daughter. We didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago when we Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 9,000 units in three cycles. Is it like cycles a year, maybe? Wow, then? That, okay. A month? That is a lot of money. Probably you know, I was month? thinking that the maybe. It's non negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship <coughs> and a class two biohazard. That they found the llama? Hide. Peter. Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I, I would show you, you just how that. very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five. Three. No pressure. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. Oh, Gamora has like casual outfit. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 9,000 units is a small price. 9,000 units? Whoops. That is a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So Ooh. we got three. And we resumed the game. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's going to shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. Oh, we don't have the jacket on anymore. Interesting! And we are already in chapter 3. That's interesting. Um, no, the... <clears throat> Drex doesn't look like Baptista because it is obviously uh, another... Another... Um, like another model that's playing him, so... <clears throat> so but in crew chess, custom tailored to ship control specialities includes communications, navigation, weapon system, and air conditioning. Why don't you go bother someone else? Not bad, I guess. I so uh, this is also interesting, like never mind. What is this thing around me? Anyway. Um so we are looking for credits because I did a dumb dumb. In chapter two. <clears throat> Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. And we're still somewhere here in the space. I am watching you, tree. Okay, people are arguing about something. I don't know where they are, but they do. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for <sighs> units, check your own room. So, you're here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Both. But mostly upgrades. 
You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. All right. Hey, Rocket, I still need to use the workbench. Please? Hello? If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flark and fine. Oh, Let's okay. make this quick. What do you want, Quill? What do you want, Quill? I want to upgrade. Um, okay, I, I'm still not in the frame. Anyway, quick, quick shot shot. Quickly pressing fire weapon twice charges the shot. Release to liver hit that inflicts buff stagger and physical damage. Consume less charge when firing the element guns. Um, firing rate doubled when health drops below. Tactical skin scan enemies during combat. Still don't know. Slow time briefing when dodging at the last second. Oof. <coughs> Super cool. Drop additional health pickups when landing a lethal blow after a jet boost dash. Components locate laser. Ooh. Locate crafting components via tracking feedback and additional advisor support. <sighs> Would be nice actually to have that. Oh, that's new. Should was Restoration speed. Actually, I I know maybe this is the dumb dumb to go into looting habits, but I think in going into looting habits is nice. So, so we see more components. <clears throat> Component localizer, localizer, laser, localizer. I don't know. I think more often I say this word, it just goes to worse. An indicator <coughs> will display when you are within 50 meters of a crafting component. An audience queue will grow louder as you near the components. Visor mode will help you pinpoint the exact location. Cool. This is a uh, girl's looting dream, I guess. Having a local. Why do I have to close? Guys, so? Don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, mom lord. Mom lord incoming. Oh. Oh. Can I have you? You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Okay. Now I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I think Groot is pissed on me. Any hey, units I uncover will go directly to you. But I am unsure the others will do the same. Aww. Dex, you really don't trust anyone. What the fuck? Is this like a picture of his wife where they're just holding each other's neck? Nice. Or throat, so, not neck. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. <laughs> it's an earth thing. What I mean is you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Well, he's really not uh, trustworthy with all these guys. Can I do anything in your room? Okay, no? Okay, cool. But apparently also interesting to hear that uh, Drex could... Hey, Gamora. Uh, You're supposed to knock. What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. 
I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? Bye. Is that a trick question? Okay, yes, mostly I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. She See has a fan picture in the right corner. Out. Got it. Okay, she doesn't like me. Well, she probably likes me, but that was a dum dum I did there, I guess. Is that my room? So, got any ideas to get those units together? This is not my room, right? Is this my room? Oh, that is my room. Investments. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you think I look like an investment type of guy? You are a risk taker. Exactly. I don't sit that looks like desk all day a, uh, a one of the movie luxuries. frames. I go out and I do stuff. Perhaps we are somewhat alike. Wait, I still have this? Oh, jeez. Okay. Really? Does it bother you that if we don't manage to get the money into... Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Oh, we're really looking for units. Wait, really? is this... Thirty-seven units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always there. Holding out My on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the guys. Let's just hear Drax out this time. What the fuck? Fin Why Fang Drax? Fin is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. Shatters the bones of all who go after it. The skulls. Greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death. Out of the question. Well, in that case. You're not selling my stuff. I am Groot. Oh, this Groot has an idea. I am Groot. Oh, we're all in there together. He says we should. Combine both ideas. Oh. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fim Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, I'm totally. The only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's Wait. not. He's the sweetest, most. I am. Does he really suggest no, that we're selling Groot? something you can pretend. I am. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy filled with rage monster queen would pay a great sum for such a creature really how great how are you okay with this because i know what i am and i know what he ain't i am groot i vote we sell groot i honestly think lady hellbender will go for it yeah well i vote for not groot i also vote for the creepy little beast two votes each peter oh, of course well uh, I mean, clearly Rocket is a small monster, but I think Groot is actually more of a value because she's like the last of his kind. And what is like basically Rocket is a raccoon that has been like rebuilt new or whatever. So I I think selling Groot is more. It's not like a convincing monster, but I think it's like just like more interesting and. Groot can be evil, like, 
being monstrous, mysterious. Well, I think Groot's more convincing no! in the traditional monster sense. Is that so good? Yeah. First of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're going to bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. Also, give Groot some all trust. Right, let's I mean, do Groot this. was suggesting let's go sell it, a monster. So. And we're busting him out after it again, and then I would prefer to have Rocket in my team. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Hey, Shrek. How Anyways, you doing? I'm sure it looks worse than it is. I think this Milano there. version looks so cool. That's Lady Hellbender's fortress. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Well. Oh. <laughs> yep, no problem. You're flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one. Minor. Adjustment. <sighs> <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> he can't uh, Groot has even what? like little heavens. This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like What scoping? are clicks now? Kilometers? Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one The spinal ready? control unit no. can now be discussed He'll in the Don't you get all gloomy right now. That's Don't a music help. panel. Because you are constant complaining to us. Oh, that's a bathroom. You, you do, do I need to pee before? Oh. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, I can't interact with the um too fresh and fortunate. Click still better unit than feed or mites. True. True, tr yeah, true. I totally agree on that. I, honestly. Will you please stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? Positive. This is a weird picture of Thanos. But actually, like, just nice style. In a sense. Actually, wanted to check this here. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who's Bluebird? That's true, who's Bluebird? Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yondu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base. But he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. You must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. 
I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, <laughs> now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> could have been worse. And definitely could have been worse. What is Gamora? Why, why do you ask uh, Toby why is Gamora? Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> Well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. I think we inter uh, interrupted something with the, like, they going out to the new mission we just, like, uh, headed to. But I was curious about the how, how the interaction would have would work there. And I guess all the other things I've collected where they were saying, like, I guess someone... I hope there's an achievement like that. I always close the stupid freeze fridge. Um, but yeah, I guess all the other stuff I pick up must lay around somewhere in the spaceship, so I can interact with them and like get more backstory. I just have no idea where they are, so I guess we're gonna go out. When is when is Gamora? Yeah. Are like exactly. this natural environment. The guy's tearing for The fridge just, just opens all hey, the time. I heard that. What if uh, I think we need right. to repair the our fridge? Hide from the cops. It would be cowardly and dishonorable. Yep, there we go. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the one thing. The other thing I uh Yeah, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Maybe. <gasps> right, so I can speak with Groot. Groot! Hey, oh. buddy. I was just uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are and stuff without, you know... Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? Can you come here for a sec? <laughs> what do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. <laughs> I am Groot. They didn't 
didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learn to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. It has a little bit of troubles with my uh overlay the subtitles. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was feeling Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half of the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too before Rocket and and us. I am. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. <laughs> who knows? If this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow or hack it or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Aww. Awesome. Cool. That is nice. It's like a little bit sentimental. Is the llama here now? Did we hit it there? Where's the llama? I still believe it is a mistake to sell the tree. Hmm. Ha, yeah, that's right. Maybe you're the mistake, Musclehead. That does not make sense. Maybe Groot misspoke. You could Did say they really took up. the uh, llama from us? The thing in the background is distracting. Oh, I don't think... Like, it didn't distract me, so I don't know what flickering you mean. He seems no, ready to should not go. We got it. It's different. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Okay, thank you. Of course. It had to be raining. I guess you hate rain. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Wow. Don't give me that sass. Also, like, I I just realized in one of the cutscenes that the arms have like these Big armpits on it, and I since I've noticed this is like just these armpits that I have like these uh, holdings on any, it's just it looks it looks so weird. We it looks so weird. But anyway, to sell enough of this. Let's go. go out. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. That looks there like nothing pain. To figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Where did we even park? We've already got Crazy. a beast. Sally, thank you very, very, very much for the uh, impregnate. It reminds me of the med no choices from speech in class. Right? The fact you ain't yeah. Going, don't vote so good. Yep. Yeah, they they look exactly like these Whoa, mattresses. That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Ow, Rex. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. We got this. Yeah. Good we'll thing it's not windy or anything. Right? 
I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. Oh, I can do it. Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady. Not Wait, are these red boxes just like to tell me like, okay, here's crap? I'm still not certain about this. Exactly. I can do She's something a there rich or not. queen businesswoman, and she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. If Lady the ground looks so weird. Why does she live on I don't this see ground it's actually. It just goes into home. dust. Oh, you, you mean like this? Great brains. Whoa! No oh, jeez. Okay. Well played, Lady that was that was scary. So we're still doing this. Yes. It's like just like intense, intense, intense teen intensity. Wait, just like what I have in me. I was yeah okay. Yeah, I think I know. What it is. It's so nice to swim English that we even can like work on this. Oh oh oh. Okay, um, I guess this is like, yep, that, this is mostly for me, uh, Jesus, yeah, what they put inside of you, oh, cool, I don't think they put it inside of me though, but sure. Where do we even the fuck do we have to go? But where? Oh. Well, what was what that was okay. weird. We should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and their Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. What the fuck is this? Eh. Not sure. Thank you. I love how Rocket was able to answer on my question. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rocket. Uh, you know, when I survive freaking half world, I think I'm scared of some little. <laughs> it's a blob. 